Hi everyone. In today's video, I'm going to talk about these lovely flowers. These are the hydrangeas. This beautiful plant is a summer bloomer. So this one in particular was a gift from my friend Shoba, and I just love this plant. I, I don't know if you have gone through this, wherein you know you go get uh, to this craving for a particular plant. So I have been uh, looking for hydrangeas all over online, looking up in uh, online nurseries as well and Shobha was very kind enough to gift me the plant that she had um, and I, I absolutely love these plants. I have grown with, grown up with hydrangeas all my life that is my dad had beautiful hydrangeas in his garden and we used to look forward to these blooms in summer and uh, they bloom through spring, summer and up to fall. Especially in India where you don't have very distinct seasons and winters. Sometimes they can bloom through the year as well. And they'll grow beautifully on in the soil rather than growing in pots. But given you know that I am in Bangalore, I've always had these in pots. And I had a beautiful plant last year that uh, just succumbed to... I don't know over watering or under watering and uh, I'm going to get more of these but this is a lovely one to start with. So let's get to know these beauties a little better. Now the uh, term hydrangea itself uh, stands for water vessel. This is a Greek word which actually um, refers to the seed capsules which are in the shape of a water vessel for these plants. Hydrangeas also have another name called hortensia. And these are native to Asia's and Americas, especially East Asia, Japan, China and Korea is where these plants or the species of plants are found in abundance. There are about 70 to 75 different species of hydrangeas that you can find. This one here is the hydrangea macrophylla. It is also called the big leaf hydrangea. So the hydrangea macrophyllas primarily come in two different varieties. One is called uh, the mop head, which this is. In a mop head variety, if you look at all these blooms and this whole bloom set, right? I mean, this whole thing with the stem, this is called a corymb of a hydrangea. This particular um, uh, flower set, so it, it looks like a head of a mop, right? And all of the flowers are almost, at a, and you can see this here, all of the flowers are of a similar size. There's another variety called the lace cap hydrangea, wherein the center flowers are of a much smaller size versus the flowers at the edges, they are much bigger. So that's a different uh, variety called the lace cap. Then of course you have other varieties now that have come into the market, especially the white hydrangeas. Okay, uh, limelight hydrangeas, uh, as well as uh, other varieties that uh, have become popular. Now, the most exciting part of hydrangeas is the color of their blooms. And would you believe that you can actually change the color of the blooms? Now, the color of the blooms depends on the aluminum ions and the absorption of these aluminum ions depends on the pH of the soil. Now, more acidic soil means the bloom colors are blue to purple and more basic soil or alkaline soil, the blooms are more towards the pink side. Okay, so if you are the type of person who wants blue blooms in your hydrangea for the season, then add more coffee grounds or maybe eggshells into your soil and make it more acidic or you can even add citrus or lemon peels into your soil make it more acidic and you will find more bluish uh, purplish blooms if you can add some lime chuna that we call it in hindi right if you add that into your soil your uh, uh, hydrangeas are going to turn more pinkish now, once the blooms are already in color, you can change. What you can do is you can only change the soil for the next season, for the coming season. Okay, and I think that's what's happening here as well. So probably I need to add a little bit of coffee grounds into this one to add more uh, bluish tinge to, the, uh, to this, uh, this particular plant as well. So very interesting, isn't it? Uh, moving on to the quickly on the care tips. 
Hydrangeas are water loving plants. Okay, the name itself has hydrangea. Um, so they are water loving plants, but of course, they are also summer lovers. So they do like a bright indirect light. They do not like direct rays of the sun. The leaves, especially of the hydrangeas are very, very delicate. So put them in indirect bright light uh, because you do need the bright light for the uh, blooms to get induced but uh, don't put them into um, direct sunlight and water them very often keep your soil mix loose i would recommend a one is to one is to one which is soil uh, your cocoa peat and compost in that uh, proportion uh, as a soil mix for hydrangeas keep the soil airy and loose watering water them deeply don't water the leaves don't water the flowers water the soil thoroughly and ensure that the hydrangeas are very thirsty plants so keep watering them often uh, to be able to enable good blooms now another very important topic apart from the blooming and the color is how do you prune hydrangeas with other plants i would say go prune it dead head it completely cut it after season but with hydrangeas especially the macrophylla variety which most of us have they bloom on old wood the old wood is actually the stems from last year last season so if you have uh, this one i mean if uh, take the example of this so now this is a last year's stem right so this would bloom only on on the last year's stem so if you cut it and uh, deadhead it or prune it uh, right to the ground you will not get blooms next year so once the blooms fall off or dry off what you need to be very careful about is just go down just the flower stalk and maybe one more leaf uh, down here and cut it here not more than that so this way you will be inducing blooms on the same stem next year or next season okay so very very important point there there are some people who cut them prune them uh, completely and make them half and then they don't see any blooms that's because of this reason so use a balanced fertilizer you can always top up with compost or use um, uh, rich in phosphorus fertilizer towards the end of uh, spring these are long lasting blooms so once they bloom they will last for a while from a pest standpoint i don't see too many issues with these plants whatever care tips i'm giving you really is based on what i have observed in my dad's garden as i said that we've always we've always had hydrangeas blooming for most of the year since i'm from a humid area i'm from the coastal area of mangalore so it's very easy for them to you put them in the soil and they just bloom year after year but in places like bangalore which are relatively less humid increase the humidity they love that so shelter them around other plants grow them with ferns or calatheas uh spray on, not on the uh, on the leaves but just spray around and create that you can even keep a humidity tray put a pebble tray and increase humidity around them but otherwise from a pest standpoint they are pretty you know pest free and as long as you take care of their watering requirements and soil and uh, sun requirements they are happy campers for you okay so this is hydrangea i am very excited and I'm so so thankful to Shobha and I'm looking forward uh, to adding a few more of these plants into my collection and uh, so should you so enjoy these lovely bloomers and uh, you know have have fun with them thank you so much bye